Hey guys, so, um, oh, I'm supposed to look down here. My nose is itchy. So, um, today, Sid just got into Boston and I'm using his blog camera for the first time, so, wow, my eyebrows look really great. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm back to vlogging, what's good? So, a lot has changed since like my little over two years of vlogging and one thing is that I've been traveling a lot, especially this year, so I figured that I should buy a camera and just start vlogging. So right now, I'm in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I was here, this is my second time here. I was here two years ago, I got vlogs on that. I met up with my cousin Zen. Hey, what's good? She flew in from Atlanta. She's here on like a work class trip. I'm just here on vacation, but I don't really have a plan. So I got here last night. I would have vlogged last night, but uh, there was a flash rainstorm. Like it was raining like crazy. Like I was hella wet. I was kind of, it was. That's what it said on my phone. It said a flash rainstorm, but it was raining like crazy. Yeah, I was just concerned about taking my camera out and like it getting wet. Cause I just got it, so you know. Let me be. But yeah, so today I guess it will be kind of re-exploring Boston. I kind of went through pretty much everywhere I wanted to go last time I was here. So it was, this is just going to be a more avant-garde trip of just figuring it out. But I'm hella surprised though. I don't know if y'all can see outside, but it's dry. <laughs> so it's dry <laughs> overnight. It was hella raining. Like, I, I went on a mission real quick, so peep this. Okay. I'm supposed to be like all, all in fitness, but I went like 11 p.m. to a coffee shop just to buy cakes. <laughs> for her. Okay, not for me. No, most, mostly high key is for me because I had a sweet tooth. I'm on vacation, so you know, when I'm on vacation, I, I don't really mind my diet as much, but I don't eat hella bad aside from the cakes. But that's really it. But yeah so this is just me exploring the city again who knows where i'm gonna go thank cuz hello <laughs> fleeky okay <laughs> so today guys i'm gonna be doing a look for you it's called my makeup without makeup with makeup look so before I go ahead out and explore the city, I'm responding to a couple emails and updating some workouts for a couple clients. So for people who have been subscribed back then or recently subscribed now because of my feature in a Bradley Martin video, or who don't know me from that, like what's up, I'm Sid. I am a personal trainer. I put a lot of emphasis in mobility and functional strength. And that's like my main ideology with all that, right? Uh, but me vlogging now wouldn't be very fitness driven. It's just me having fun sharing my experiences with traveling and all that. But if you have any inquiries with online coaching or just any questions in general with the mechanics of squat and deadlift or any mobility tips, just hit me up on my website. It's sidmascardo.com or hit me up on my Instagram, which is also just Sid Mascardo. I get a lot of DMs uh, day to day and I don't have a lot of clout like that. So I'm able to really respond to every single person. I'm... I'm someone who likes to be very helpful, so whatever questions you have, even if it's not fitness related, just like, you know, hit your boy up and just talk to me and anything like that. But yeah, I'm almost done with this. I still don't have a plan with going around the city, but the one thing I do like is that downtown Boston is very small and you're able to really just skate around. So that I think that's what I'm gonna do, just, you know, start off by just skating around, uh, re-familiarize re myself with, uh, the streets and everything and just go from there I have two places I want to go to today but that's really it and one of them is a food spot so let's move forward to that and let's get some like cool shots of the city feel me all right And it's this park with these glass fixtures over here and it's a holocaust memorial park where each of the glass fixtures represents 
one of the main camps where the Nazis held uh, the Jews. So I'm not even gonna pronounce the names, but if you see here, uh, a lot of these have numbers, or all of these have numbers, and all the numbers represents the tags that uh, the Jews were uh, like labeled, I guess. But it's pretty cool to be here again. Um, what's dope is that. I can really just skate around Boston and I know exactly where I'm at even though I'm just skating around just getting lost like whenever I reach a certain area I'm just like oh I know where I'm at so it's kind of dope so definitely try out here uh, this is one spot kind of over there it's called Union Oyster House it's the oldest uh, restaurant in Boston it says existed 1826 which is crazy but it's hella good I recommend it uh, they get they catch their oysters the morning of so it's pretty dope but yeah it's dope to explore Boston bless all right so I'm here I stopped by Union Oyster House had to stop by get some oysters so check it out right there see if I could do this with one hand so what you do so way to do this is got the lemon put the lemon on there put a little bit of horseradish a little bit of that horseradish right here a little bit a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. And then you put a little bit of this chili, chili hella bomb. Boom. So you get that. And then you just eat it. Straight up, right here. There, right boom. Hella good. Highly recommend trying this out, yep. back at the hotel I'm gonna chill here until my cousin gets off her class conference whatever it's called but after Ventai Fenway I went to the store called Bodega and I highly recommend you check it out it's a pretty cool spot they don't allow you to record in there and I respect that so I didn't record but I got some stuff because they got little trinkets let me show you what I got right here pretty cool I got some socks <laughs> but it's cool because on one side, oh wait, hold up. Let me just hold up, hold up. How you doing right now? All right. So, see, it says bodega, and then on one side it says West Coast, and then the other side says East Coast. So now I could just look at my feet to know the cardinal directions. Like I don't need to look at the sun, you know, rising, ri sun rises in the east, sets in the west, some shit like that. I ain't a pilgrim, you know, this is 2018. We look for directions in our socks. That's how you do it. It's a swag money, look at that. It's all good. <laughs> uh, my cousin is out of her class. Hi, why am I blurry? My bad, autofocus. All right, and where are we heading? We are going to Harvard, um, so I can take my Legally Blonde picture and post my caption that I've been planning since I found out I was coming to Boston. So be always got up. always got to flex with the gram. No, I just I'll be flexing on the gram too. Good. <laughs> I post my own photo, but yeah, we're uh, on the way to the T, and then we're gonna take take it all the way down to Harvard. So yeah.
I know, right? But it's kind of menacing at the same time. Is the lighting good? Yeah, a little bit. A <laughs> little bit. All right, so Zin and I are back from Harvard. Uh, I didn't really vlog after, but we basically met up with a friend of mine that I met two years ago. His name is Phil, shout out to Phil. I met him through something called Couchsurfing. And basically what Couchsurfing is, is like, it's Airbnb for travelers uh, on a budget. So it's really for people who offer, like people offer their couch or their like, you know, mattress or, you know, their bed to stay in for free. And it, it sounds kind of sus to be honest, like hella feeling yourself. <laughs> it sounds kind of sus, but then I feel like there's, there's like a trust merit in terms of using the app. So I feel like I got hella lucky in terms of uh, meeting with Phil or Phil accepting me in terms of letting me stay at his place for free in Boston two years ago. So I wanted to hit him up because you know what, like we still follow each other on Instagram and everything. So that's pretty dope. And you know, I just wanted to treat him out for dinner and for a drink. Well, he bought, he bought the drinks, but I, I treated him out to dinner because you know, it's my thank you for letting, letting me stay at his place for free. Uh, two years ago and the fact that we were still able to keep a connection now is like hella water dope water it does like it feels it smells, it smells like warm vanilla i think it's the cakes it smells like warm butt <laughs> it smells like i think it's the cakes but anyways i need i need good lighting real quick anyways <laughs> right here ooh 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 okay okay <laughs> okay, and okay. Like and anyways uh, if you are traveling on the budget uh, and you are a lone traveler, I would suggest using Couchsurfing. It's a really dope if app you're to a use. Male. I think there's females that use it too. I feel like are you saying are you saying that females Speaking are <laughs> are more? Ex what are you talking about? I thought I thought this is the year of women power right I now. It is, but I wouldn't feel safe unless it was a female that I was staying with. Okay, wow, but but anyways, Couchsurfing isn't just so uh, solely secluded to uh, someone offering their place to stay. They do a lot of like event trips. So if you're at somewhere that you're not familiar with, like you go on Couchsurfing and then people hold events to travel around the city that you're in and everything like that. So Couchsurfing ah. is kind of dope. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Maybe pretty good day of just traveling around the city and all that. Uh, did you enjoy your class? Cause where are you at? I did. Can I talk? For a few yes, okay. Okay, let's go. Oh wow, this lighting is okay. Right here is good. Oh, you're climbing on me for feeling on myself. <laughs> so my class today was very good. What am I supposed to be looking at here? No, you look at you look at the lens. Oh. Yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. the fans. I'm looking at myself. The okay. fans is right here. The fans is right here. Oh, so I need to look yep. here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look there. So my class went pretty well today. This is my. Day three, so I'm almost halfway done. I've been sitting in class for eight hours for the entire week. It's fine, um, and yeah, um, it's a really good class. And if you're um, into health communication like I am, you should definitely take it. It's called Digital Health Strategies um, through Tufts University, and it's a week long. And there's meals involved. And wow, I just love this. Life. And a free hotel. Oh yeah, and a free hotel. Well, free my work hotel. Paid for That's why I'm here. We're not paying for a room. Well, technically, technically the government is. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's fine. Is that it? <laughs> yes. All right, I guess that's it. Peace.